I'm Rosemary Nichols McGee uh, from Nichols Garden Nursery in Albany, Oregon, and today we're going to talk about oregano. There are many, many varieties of oregano. Some have purple flowers, some have white. Usually it's felt that the Heracleotecum, the Greek white flowering, is the best flavored. The purple flowering or lavender flowering has a bitier taste. I have a strong personal preference for our Sicilian oregano. And I harvest this every year and dry the stems when the flower buds are just starting to open on it. We cut this back once and now it's flowering again. And I just put them in a paper bag and hang them up and let them dry for maybe a couple of weeks and then strip the uh, leaves and buds from the stem. Just a great, great fragrance. It's, little, it's spicy but it's sweet. And it doesn't just burn the palate. It's very complex, very fine flavors. So this is what we're using today. We're going to make, start with a uh, sort of a Moroccan type of salad. And I've used six large carrots here. And we've got uh, about two cups, one and a half. No, we've got about a quart of here, about four cups. And I just uh, cut, peel them, put them in the food processor, cut them into one and a half inch chunks and put them on that standard blade and they seem to come out just fine. If you want to use a berliner or just a hand grater, it all works. It all will work. People were making these salads long before there was electricity. So let's begin. Um, I'm just going to put everything in here and use this as my mixing bowl. And we'll start with a sort of a rounded quarter teaspoon of ground uh, cumin which is another flavor that's really typical of that part of the world. Sprinkle it on here so that we can actually um, spread it around a little bit. If you ever get a chance to find one of these old coffee grinders at a reasonable price, I strongly recommend that you do that. Two teaspoons of dried oregano. A, I'm going to measure this out for you, but basically this is a large finger full that I usually go with, but for today we're going to have two tablespoons of chopped parsley. And though I don't think it matters a whole lot whether you're using flat leaf or curly leaf, I use both. When I'm all done, they taste about the same, and it is, I have a quarter cup of uh, olive oil in here, and we're going to use about half of that, maybe a little less. Then, I'm going to finish off this uh, carrot, this uh, lemon that I've been uh, grating for the uh, peel, but just a, just a little bit of lemon peel, avoiding getting any of the uh, white pith in there, because that isn't going to add it, but the uh, zest really adds a nice flavor and be sure you give it a good washing if you purchase this uh, before you start grating. And cut this in half and grate this and then uh, it doesn't take too much. This one's nice and juicy probably because I beat it up with uh, pulling off the zest. And I actually think this is so juicy that half of a peel, a uh, half half of a will be will be just fine with this. Okay, a little salt, and that you're kind of on your own. But let's say a quarter teaspoon is probably going to, and a couple. Okay, that looks good for the pepper, and. I like a little more contrast in there from the parsley, plus I like the taste of parsley, so I'm adding just a bit more to this. Stir that up, and for a lot of people, this salad would be done, but I like to add a nice scoop of yogurt to this. It adds some tartness and some body, and it also means that I use a little bit less olive oil in it than the conventional uh, preparation. You can even add a spoonful of capers to this, and it would be good. 
In fact, don't ever, and if you think that this is not as tart as you want it to be, then add more lemon juice. Or if you need more salt, add more salt. Um, these are recipes that are passed down. And believe me, everybody who makes them has their own signature. So let's just put this out here today. And, uh, but not there's hardly a nicer summer salad. Carrots have such color, such good nutrition, and we should just keep using them in our as our food as much as we possibly can. And, uh, so here we have Moroccan carrot salad. Easy to do. Five ingredients. How can you beat that?